Hello and welcome to the episode on potting. For those that don't have as much space, gardening indoors or on your balcony, we'll show you how to be creative, uh, productive with what you're growing, using anything from pots that you can buy in the store through to plastic, reusing plastic, to making your own plant pots, and also litter that you may see lying around, things like styrofoam boxes and how you can use those. So as part of a permaculture principle, the beauty of growing close to your kitchen on your windowsill or your patio is that you have everything close to you. So there's a nice flow. So we can grow anything from herbs to spices, uh, some vines, some vegetables that grow up the wall maybe. Anything from rosemary to mint. You can also grow medicinal. We've got aloe vera here. We've also got some lemongrass. So not just growing things that are good to eat, but things that you can use for mosquito repellent, being the lemongrass. Also here we have some ginger that you can grow. All of these things very, very easy to do in a restricted space. One of the wonderful things about growing in the pots, especially on your balcony, is that you can move them around. So if they're getting too much sun, you can move them into an area of more shade. So you have a lot of versatility there. So to plant in our pots, what we will need, small hand trowel, a small fork, and also a small pair of scissors or something sharp that we can put holes in the bottom of the containers if they don't have them. The reason we do this is to any excess water for it to come out so that the actual soil doesn't get waterlogged. So first we just make a few holes in the bottom. And then we'll add some soil. So we've got a nice mix here, fine mix of compost and soil that we can just put in. And then very simply, what we're gonna put in these ones is some green beans. So we're going to put maybe two seeds in and the depth will just be maybe the length of your fingernail on your little finger. And we just drop a seed in, maybe put two. And we'll do just a couple of holes, a couple more. And a very, very important thing now is to just brush over where you've planted and to not press down because you don't want to take the oxygen out of the soil. You want the seed to be able to come through the soil very easily. So an important consideration is before you plant anything, look at what you'd like to plant. What does it need? So do things need more sun? Do they need to grow up against the wall? What is the depth of the soil that is needed? So you have to do a little bit of research into this before you just start planting and potting. So in here we've put some green beans. We know they're going to grow up and they're going to need support from a wall. So I'm going to have to think about where I put those in relation to where the sun is and where I have a wall. Other things will do better more in the shade. So things like ginger will grow better in the shade, but it might need deeper soil for the ginger to root down into. Very important to consider these before you actually start potting. Herbs, on the other hand, you can grow a wide variety in a small space. You can see here that the mint and the rosemary that we have, uh, a lot is growing in a small area. Now that we've shown you how to prepare your space outside and inside, the next episode will focus on how you grow.